Hello guys, Sert here and um, today I'll show you a battle between me and um, Titan Sparky. He didn't save this game so, so I have to ask him to, to send me this replay. Uh, this 31k battle 1-1 one, one, uh, played as the same final of the 6th round of the tournament. As you probably know so far, the first 5 round of tournaments where CWB rolls. Um, and since that discipline uh, actually had the biggest perspective to, to create uh, this game to be very competitive and to be uh, to attract more young new players to play and like that to, to save uh, this game from disaster uh, actually uh, problem was actually that because Given so attracted people who wanted to prove themselves overnight, uh, not respecting the natural order uh, of how things should go, should go, and uh, is that simply that that is not just about respect of some older and the most important well, uh, better players. That's just because of the com complete atmosphere of the game. And, uh, so, CWB this team practically died, and uh, I also practically killed it uh, by killing uh, its most active and most productive clan in the last four years, Ron Victor. Um, I'm not hiding that I did that deliberately, knowing that the CWB will die. So let people judge me about that, but that's how that happened. Anyway, I joined uh, 31k Clan Brotherhood, and um, they are really friendly folk and one of the oldest clans, definitely the oldest clan right now, uh, but one of the oldest clans for general. I'm not sure when it was founded, but probably from the very first days of the online multiplayer gaming from Total War <coughs> and um, I'm I'm joining up playing 31k uh, friendly mostly but um, since some people wanted to, to show <laughs> I'm sure that they want to show me that, that CWB is dead but and organize some tournaments uh, because when I went inactive for some half year, uh, returned and wrote public forum like, <laughs> where is this CWB community now? When are we and me are gone? I thought we, we were the only problem. And uh, actually, like that, they proved that I was right about it. Uh, and um, immediately, some folks decided to organize some <laughs> great tournament. Uh, which actually had uh, some 16 signed participants, but per general played 6 or 7, and uh, out of them there was kind of one, one or two good players. A good uh, elite practically didn't participate there. Uh, <coughs> in my good day, actually. So, uh, therefore, I decided to, to organize the tournament because they said, okay, let's organize you, let's see how you'll pass. And I organized 31k tournament, 31k uh, discipline wasn't played that much, and especially was that competitive uh, as CWB in the past. Practically, there were and there was uh, there were only two tournaments, one two against two and one one one, and that one one I organized, which passed well. So. Uh, when you don't have that much players, especially not competitive. But uh, Brotherhood Clan did a very good job lately and recruited a lot of players. It's now very active with, with some, uh, let's say, about 15 active players, perhaps even more. The Titans are playing. And um, therefore, I, I decided that this round to turn and be 31 key roles and show that. Uh, with good administration, uh, with good will, and uh, with participants who, who won't cause problems and will play for the first for, for fun, so just to play 
and then for uh, at second place to to win the tournament. So not like some people had the motto in the past and still have victory over playing. So just give me the title. I won't even play. Why? Why should I play? I'm the best. Just give me the title. So that won't happen in my turn is no year ever happened so people have first to play to play fair and um, I want this to have good games and that way to, to help this game to survive so uh, six round tournament has six per uh, 16 participants and only one match wasn't played even that one was because Let's say that, that one play was a bit problematic, but okay, never mind. Uh, in the end, uh, now now play, not nice to be played second semi final between Titus Mohammed and Kim Jong Lee should be interesting. Uh, I must admit that I underestimated Kim Jong Lee according to his CW base skills. Uh, I knew that he is good 31 clip K player, but actually never saw him that much in action uh, only according to his results and later talking with some good 39k players I heard that he is really really good 39k player and perhaps elite player so I guess it won't be that easy to, to problem one of the two the best players of all times Titans for coming alongside with Titans Beast and uh, sorry And the uh, second semi final was played between uh, me and uh, his party commander. We'll see how to came later. Uh, just now that they saw his battle already. Okay, never mind. Uh, it was between me and. Uh, and. Uh, Texas Parky. Um, okay, I was perhaps bit overconfident that I will win here though I haven't underestimated him but I, I, I won't find any excuse cause I think that also I played kinda let's say almost on my 100% it's hard to get 100% even when man says that he played at 100% there are always flaws in the game but let's say that I played them really little really, high level according to my skills uh, but like you said that he played <laughs> I think that he definitely played on his 100% because uh, he didn't have any significant mistakes on all four games that he had been played uh, he did, before this battle there was 2-1 result for him uh, uh, he he defeated me in his matchup Greece against Rome and um, um, there is sure that, that I'm not that yet 31k player, don't know all the 20k knowledge because he simply, simply tactically outrun me there uh, because he is he's definitely one of the best 31k players and um, he showed their true 31k skill and uh, completely tactically outrun me and games weren't that decisive as victories, but uh, he he showed to be definitely better in, in, in various third monkey matchups. Uh, where I thought and why I thought that I will actually eliminate him is because I think that I'm very good at Rome against Rome, and uh, I was doing very well in that matchup against all players lately, and. Uh, So uh, after the 2-0 for him, I defeated him on my matchup from against Rob. And in case of 2, two result, the tiebreaker played again from against Rob. So I thought, okay, I lost that, that matchup, but from against Rob is my matchup, and especially since he won the first game, not easily. It was a very close battle, but 
I was keeping the control and as you can see why I wanted to, to upload this battle is because I think that this was a very good battle at first and um, uh, some players expressed uh, some contradictory opinions and, uh, uh, on duel between me and Sparky so surely the, the games were action close and uh, it could go either way uh, like he says, Sparky deservedly defeated me in his 9th final definitely he played better but um, uh, you'll see the, the, the why how I lost and uh, okay let's not let's not play just replay okay uh, uh, why I'm not that, that much yet of a complete 30 win player is because I, I play mostly with cavalry not that much with infantry uh, people say that, that I playing skirmish. Not that I would like to play that much skirmish. I'm relying more on my strong color and not that much on archers. Yeah, that they can inflict some damage, but uh, uh, simply that I cannot take anti gals if I don't put maximal upgrade in my cavalry. So the, the the most worth unit I can take are archers actually. Uh, so I had six G attack archers. I had to change something. So what I turned to change because first game I had four archers and two experience cavalry. Now I had four upgraded cavalry and six archers. GG six four upgraded cavalry and uh, six eight GG uh, urban coffers. But he had our uh, three archer units. Patrick Celia, I guess GG, GG, don't know. Uh, Orbans, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Orbans and Mother Legioner, first cohort. And uh, some cavalry with one experience on each GG. Perhaps he wasn't so confident as the first game, he won with GG cavalry. Because, yeah, he knew how I would play actually, so. This time he didn't want to have an GG cavalry. Trying to like this to better counter me. And okay, let's see how that will go. I pressed from the start well, actually he pressed this line with archers from the start, thinking to eliminate as much as he can, but I think that's such a very smart arch war shooting not shooting with two on each, but shooting with three on this one and with two on this one and only one one playing with this uh, trying like that quickly to eliminate one archer unit so that I have only two so after that I can shoot with three archers and his two and uh, with other three units to shoot his infantry or cavalry or something so that's why I, I started pressing even with infantry from the start kinda threatening the engagement but of course I wouldn't do that but no uh, if, if if your opponent even with weaker units are pressing you, that point you want to be scared, but you you can say sometimes, okay, why not to try to destroy destroy him there? And uh, there is always the trick, uh, micro management, who have better micro management. For instance, if he press me there, should I retreat in time or he will catch me and if I retreat in time I can inflict a significant damage with touches on his troops or perhaps to catch him on wrong leg and do some good charges or something. So it's always tricky. No. For instance, these three units are, many would say, key players too isolated and too close to the opponent that they can be destroyed. but. Can they be really? <laughs> that, that's really the question. So Sparky actually played smart. He didn't want to, 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 to go for harm for me here, there, nor there, nor, nor anywhere. He, he simply played slowly and very patient, patiently. And uh, all he wanted is to pro protect well his color at first, I'm sure of it. Because if I shoot his color, uh, Okay, game over because even with much lesser number of infantry units, 
my fully upgraded car with the easily smash his infantry and main cavalry. So he had very good defense with uh, 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 his infantry there. Uh, and now, okay, <coughs> here's the moment. I hope that Sparky will forgive me, but I for forgive him too. Uh, I noticed that even in the game, uh, and it, it is explicitly said in rules that there is no red line camping. But uh, actually, this didn't much interfered with, with my way how I wanted to play. So uh, I didn't make some, some big, big fuss about it, you know. Because anyway, I, I wouldn't try completely to strike him. It, it's it's not good in 31k. So in that case, uh, red light camping doesn't mean that much. You know? For instance, if he really stretch his line from there to there, I could have called for red light camping. But like this, I was not made for that. Uh, all I what wanted to say, where, where some players said to me like, "Oh, we told you he'll defeat you." Uh, they, they are very interesting moments, that's why I mentioned this this unimportant for line camping actually but it happened anyway and uh, if it was someone else and not me that one probably would call uh, uh, a red light camping so that much about some players calling me a cheater and uh, not fair player Anyway, like I said once again, that that actually didn't create any big problem. So actually, he he quickly ran from there, so he wasn't really like happy for much, thirty seconds. So nothing that important actually. Um, okay, meanwhile, he as you can see killed two of my archer units, and. Uh, what he is trying here actually is perhaps not that much to kill my archers as trying to get tired my units or to get some isolated units. And now he had really really good good move by killing a lot of his cavalry, throwing his pillars even more now. Uh, also very good at defending there, but I was slow with Cal trying to get his car, car retired, and now it's very crucial moment. You see how, how I did this very bad and uh, was too late with cavalry. So for now it was going very good for me, but now I lost three units, and perhaps what was the best is to disengage completely out of here. And to try to save them. Okay, I went for for charge, and that that charge was really devastating for him. Extremely devastating. Perhaps he took even more damage than I did with his three organs. Which you see, <laughs> look at this group of dead, dead red brown troops. And I can continue with charges. And while uh, I'll continue charging non-stop, he was always counter charging. But my cavalry, as you know, is fully upgraded. So what he's doing, he's killing slowly but surely one by one my infantry units while I'm simply charging with brutal force and also killing a lot of his troops. It, it, it's not easy to understand who is, who is losing more troops here, so you're simply berserking charges and attacks all the time. So I, I'll just stop for the moment to so see how... how how long we were seeking the moment for the engagement and our engagement will finish very very quickly okay so for now what I see is he is blocked and I continue charging here and he almost must routed all of my infantry but it will it is returning constantly because there are four units I am completely annihilating his units while charging and now it was bad moment to charge here because my cavalry routed and now now was now was a crucial moment where no not yet not yet actually and now you can see let's let's count the numbers here because these my units could have returned you see 
and as you can see he don't have much color left actually and it's much weaker than mine I don't have much neither but but my would fight to the last soldier and uh, let's count the numbers of the troops so I have 10 12 uh, 16 and uh, 13 so that's 29 31, 41 government so almost entire unit and uh, I still have uh, 37 urban cohort unit 33 so oh and one more color of what I mean so archers there supporting fight this one unit also returning in fight so <laughs> uh, what I should do is to practically to group okay leave this to die if need regroup what I can regroup I should have done this even before not just to charge blind there with everything so I had there small mistakes but seeing how does the thing charge my charges were I continue charging unfortunately not even noticing it that my cavalry while while charging and retreating are getting damage too so let's see what number of his troops are? He's got 10, 4, and 6 cavalry. So it's only 20 men, much weaker. So 1 urban cohort, 18 urban cohort, 22 urban cohort, 62 regular. Okay, that one is dangerous. 5, 45 also dangerous. Let's see this 18. So practically, as you can see, I have better chances here to win. So, no need even that. You'll see what well, I, I won't put double. You'll see what I'll do next. Okay, I charge again. Very devastating. One more charge. Okay. <laughs> so, let, let's see what I'll do. You see, his men are dying, not mine. I was in guard mode. And now, they, they haven't routed. They routed when I ordered retreat. So they wouldn't route they would continue fighting to the last man ah, even if they would route in the end i would have more infantry and would win in the end plus okay these are should help the fight so what i did here was very wrong okay not to regroup at first okay the first one small mistake there so if i can retreat not last these two three units definitely would have a better engagement in the end so let's say that my skirmish was working <coughs> then I should, should I regroup after first two initial charges I have six per general or five, I can't remember uh, but okay, let's ignore even that what I should have do and I should have realized from all my experience of how long I played this game and how much turns I played that after two mistakes and I saw that I made two mistakes should have <laughs> make even third and uh, not not to retreat from that fight there but to remain in guard mode and uh, stand the ground and fight to the end to the last man and I'm quite sure that I will win there because you can see his units were even more wounded than mine so very bad move so you know uh, for those who don't know uh, that was a morale issue because when i ordered units to retreat and if one started routing then they are running then i gave them an order to retreat to run away so they, they'll simply then run away you know they'll be scared they, they'll think that i'm right as a general and they'll simply retreat and run away but if I enter guard mode and stand the ground uh, as fully upgraded they will surely fight to the last man like that supporting the morale of you fighting urbans and incoming urban and archer unit but alas okay um, I lost this game uh, Sparky really played played really, really well you saw that in the charge there that was really classy move and uh, he this is really passing final, but as you can see, and this replay is about the first as a very good game and a second to show to the people that actually could go either way. So if I won this wrong against strong game, tiebreaker would be again wrong against strong. So according to that, chance will be 50-50. So 
I guess the crew now see better actually what what was it and what happened here. Anyway, uh, GG's had we me and Sparky, and uh, I wish him luck in in finale. Where we played with him. Um, <laughs> okay, I will say this power kiss is uh, more friendly with him. I'll cheer for him. I'll cheer winning for him and. Uh, I hope that he wins this, and I'm quite sure that if he will play on this level, he, he definitely have the chance. No matter will it be Kim Jong Lee or Mohammed. Okay, I I'll upload definitely uh, finale battles on Roman to YouTube channel after this one. So once they they, they are finished, you may you may free watch them and enjoy them. Okay. Bye-bye and see you till then.